Hey, welcome back to the internet. Previously, we were using this hybrid uh, aluminum 3D printed synchronous timing belt pulley setup for our Max NC. One of the downsides was uh, it's a fairly complicated tooth geometry. Uh, the benefit is, is that you're sure it doesn't slip. Um, good for low RPM. But what I didn't like about it was it was significantly more noisy. And that could just be because my pulleys weren't 100% uh, concentric. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and not use that anymore, and instead we are going to drive it with this. This is a 3L-130. I've already uh, cut, cut a rough blank of one half inch thick aluminum plate. I've already bored these to fit, so these center holes are correct. Um, we're now going to grind a forming tool. Got a piece of high speed steel here. Alright, so we got an Allen head set screw, it's a 1032, and we're going to go set this up in the drill press, drill down, and hopefully insert that into there, like so. At least, that's the plan. Yeah. So the goal here is to turn this down to 6.670, 671, uh, so we can use this as a mandrel to turn the OD of our pulleys, uh, specifically this one first. So we need to get this down to 670 or 671. Then we'll mount it, secure it, turn the OD uh, to be concentric with this hole, uh, and then we will hollow out for the belt. Well, that's what we're looking for. We don't really want the bottom of the belt to make contact with the bottom of the inside of the pulley. Uh, we want to make contact on these uh, angled portions here of the belt. So I'd say we're good to go.
like a kitten. Like a kitten. Ah, that's that sounded nice. That sounded real nice. Okay, let's um, let's try it out on some brass. Cause we got a project. Okay, so we got our piece of reflective tape and our t photo tachometer here. So let's see what we have. We should have right around 10,000. See if we can crash this. little post synopsis of what happened or what I think happened. 
So we started off, this is supposed to be a half inch deep. It's looking pretty darn good there for, for considering I eyeballed everything. But what you'll notice is right here, it starts getting deeper. I've already dropped down like an eighth. So what I think happened here was the collet wasn't tight enough and due to the way the uh, mill was spinning it started pulling its way out of the collet and getting deeper and deeper as it went along. And we can certainly see here the difference when this started entering here. Alright, so I think we'll go back to G Wizard and redo this and try again. Um, instead of 120 thou step over, maybe we'll just we'll cut that in half. Because the machine was trying to shake itself apart, I think. But yeah, the pulleys work great. Uh, the, the belt didn't slip once, the motor stalled out before the belt slipped. Um, maybe not what you want, maybe I need to loosen it up so the belt slips a little bit and my motor doesn't try to fry itself up. Anyway. Uh, stay tuned if you want to see what part, what this is going to be in the future. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Are you still watching? Go away already.